here with Hinch after the 2-1 defeat to Burgess Hill in the league. Hinch went 1-0 one, one up in the first half, moment of brilliance from David Adjaboy, and then back-to-back -back goals for Burgess Hill, uh, taking them through the game, 2-1 winners. How did you see the game? Just just that at the moment, um, we go 1-0 up, um, then just maybe a little bit of naivety, like Clark, he has the ball here, could play it down the line, didn't see anyone. Rather than playing it down there and you know, we get on the forwards to say they need to be there, dwells on it, gives away a free kick, goes in, um, weak challenge from the goalkeeper and you're back to one all. Um, it's just those real naive sort of moments that you get um, with a young group and with a young group that's you know struggling in terms of results at the moment. But again, performance wise, look at it and go, are we creating chances? Yes. Um, do we need to be more clinical? Yes. Um, I understand the sort of fans' frustration, they're getting disgruntled obviously, um, because you know of results. Um, but you know, I felt the space was in down the sides of them, so that's why I'm asking them to play some longer balls down the sides of their centre halves. Obviously, then they drop off second half, um, then the ball's into feet. Um, but because I've told them that instruction at half time, where they're young, they're thinking, oh, that's where I've got to do it. And it's just that learning and learning the game. Um, but it's, it's, it's tough to do when you're sort of in a run up like we are. Like you say, we're creating chances. Uh, Ollie Pierce obviously came off, pulled up there, uh, brought him off in the first half. Is there any news on that? Any updates no, on Ollie? No, he just said his calf's a bit stiff. Um, so, you know, he's coming back from his ankle injury. Um, he was, the ball went forward and he was offside. Um, I think he should have done better to get across when Clarkey should have been there. Um, so yeah, he's come off saying he was fine, but you know, I didn't see that in his performance. With it being such a quick turnaround, going one nil up, then coming back two one down, what sort of information did you give the players at half time? And, and like you say, just elaborate a little bit more on how they reacted to it. Yeah, just just um, I wanted the our front three to play up against their their three at the back, um, and then. You know, when Danny was free with the ball, the space would be on down the sides, but they, they dropped off. So then, you know, rather than them coming short and breaking lines, Danny's still looking for like an 80 yard ball on on the diag. But, you know, I encourage the teams to play, you know, so I don't get the whole, you know, stop going long. They've been asked to do so, but obviously when it's not on, then, you know, it's on to, to break lines. I know. We play a certain way. We play up for the back. They get encouraged to do that. Um, yeah. So uh, yeah, I don't know where the sort of um, frustrations growing from us being a long ball side. We're far from that. And I think our performances were good, and we're creating chances. Um, so you just got to hope sooner or later that we start taking these chances when, when they drop to us. Brilliant. Thank you. That's Cheers, all. mate. Cheers.